All right, everyone. <clears throat> it is me, Johnson Chan. And I should have cleared this uh, frog in my throat. Um, so anyway, I actually just woke up like 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. I just went straight to work. Uh, I did have a very good night's sleep last night, so uh, that's good. So anyway, I wake up and of course, um, just more fear as always. Very annoying. It's gonna like take forever for me to trade up my Ledger X calls. Um, but at least crude oil is going up. So once all this pressure and fear subsides and greed comes back, hopefully Exxon Mobil will skyrocket. Uh, and then I can exit that position too. Cause yeah, Bank America is down, but that's cause everything's down. So, and that includes crypto too. So very annoying. Um, I don't know what's going to happen for the month of March, uh, but it's just looking like just when there's a little bit of progress, right? It, it, it just, it, it just comes all crashing down. Um, but I mean, that's what happens when you have a centrally planned economy. So, um, that's basically what America is now. Um, so however the manipulators and fear mongers want to do it, you know, that's just what we have to deal with. All right, so first things first, everything's down across the board by a large amount. Uh, this is fake U.S. factory orders rebound. It's not. It's actually, um, I forget what Greg Manorino just said, because I had to watch his video, because um, that's the first thing I do every time I, w I wake up. Uh, well, that and run my video games. So um, he said that something was created. Oh. The total amount of manufacturing is actually cratering still. So we're actually, uh, like, the manufacturing industry is actually dying. Uh, so I'm just going to ignore that. Crude oil is up good, so that's a good sign. Um, Greg now is increasing his target at 72. Yeah, which I think makes sense because, like, they, Goldman Sachs is all in on oil. So is JP Morgan and the other big banks. They're all in on oil. So they really need crude oil to hit, like, $120. And on top of that, the Federal Reserve and central banks need all to go up that amount, too, because, A, it'll hurt the middle class, because that's what they want. And number two, they can blame higher inflation on higher crude oil, right? And that way, people are like, oh, crude oil is very high. That's why, uh, you know, we have inflation, right? That way, it'll scam all of you into thinking it's not the central bank with all their money printing that is causing inflation, because that's actually the cause. And of course, people are stupid enough to believe everything that they read. Hell, except all of you, because a few of you watching this video know better. Or the live stream. Uh, so, yeah. So silver's flat, which is actually pretty impressive. This is like the first time I've actually seen silver go up a lot and then not, and then not go down at all. So that's actually a pretty good sign for silver. Because, you know, it's, I would like to offload my, you know, meager silver holdings. I mean, it's not meager for most people, <laughs> considering how everyone's got no more money, but, yeah. Uh, Bitcoin is down to 55k, it's the same old crap. Alright, so CL Guff is up for some reason, fine, I don't care, we're going over Bank America. Uh, Apple tanks, which is, yeah. see, this is why I don't like stocks, because... Crypto isn't doing that bad, and stocks just seem to, like, want to keep going straight down to zero. It's so annoying. Because everyone's just shorting. This is why I don't like shorting. So definitely going forward. Um, definitely going forward. Especially once I have my video game company up. Right? I'm not going to take that public. But I can create like uh, like other... Because I like doing other things too. So I could create like a public company that does like trading or something. Cause, and then that way, you know, I could raise money that way. Um, but man, th this is just like such bullshit. This is like this manipulation is just so bad. You should just not. It should just be illegal to short a stock, meaning you can't borrow shares to artificially suppress the price of a stock. You should totally just buy puts and whatever, and that's it. But we live in a tribal, uh, controlled scam world, so like this is what's what happens. All right, and then for some reason everyone is buying up the dollar by like a, a lot, and is a ten-year yield showing here? All right, it's not showing here, but we already saw the ten-year yield dropping. So technically, these are this is actually good. So it's just a standard day of like massive fear for some reason. I don't know why. Greg also doesn't know why. All right, bond markets. Yeah, it's about what you would expect. So, 
at least yield curve control is doing their thing. Uh, we don't need to look at that. Actually, I don't need this anymore. We don't need the futures. We can look at it like later this year, because uh, we already know that this thing's going straight up. All right, so it's the same thing in the crypto markets. Like Bitcoin's getting dumped, everything. Uh, Ethereum's getting pumped. The altcoins getting hyper pumped, which act makes absolutely no sense because all the coins that actually do something are going down. Coins that don't actually do much, except your straight up copy of Bitcoin, like only dog coins doing well. Litecoin's doing all right, actually he's doing very well. Uh, Chainlink's also doing pretty well. V Chain, of course, just wants to go down like everybody else. File coins down. Uh, pan well, even Pancake Swap is down. Yeah, it's just like large amounts of fear. And then again, the safe coins right now, like the rich are just dumping all their money into parking their money in Ethereum. <laughs> Dog coin, chain link, light coin. Dash is, uh, I guess, a third classic account. And uh, um, I don't know what Rune and Thor chain is, but I know I've heard of that before. How much is Thor chain? Yeah, 1765. Uh, Greg actually recommended Dash, and that's actually doing pretty well too. I don't like Dash simply because it's just like way too expensive. Yeah, it's up here, three hundred and sixty-two dollars and forty-nine cents. But it's got to be a pretty nice bid. So. I mean, until I see some kind of weird uh, news thing, uh, what is this? Uh, I'll proceed to Oh yeah, I did watch. I did watch the show yesterday. So, yeah, hit the like button. Uh, I don't know, but this upside, I, 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 I mean, I bought from McDonald's like very rare. I usually like going to Burger King or Wendy's. But yeah, I've never actually had a problem with an upside down hamburger like this. I actually don't mind if this happens to me because I always take the bottom button off to reduce the amount of carbs and calories I'm taking in. So I don't mind that I get an upside down burger, but I don't know, it's, uh, I never noticed it before. So anyway, before I got distracted with this, um, I w what did I want to, oh, uh, looks like he got banned first. Yeah, somebody that I was following on my Twitter, it got banned because it was supposed to say 181 following. Now it says 180. Right, checked. Everybody is there. So, or maybe it was at 180, and then I just simply, I don't know. I'm trying to remember what did I want to check, and I was gonna go because I want to keep this video short. I need to go exercise. I need to catch up. I need to start work. I need to keep, uh, you know, keep the programming thing going because I got so. Uh, it, I probably won't actually be able to work on my game until like at least four months from now because I bought a total of four Unreal Engine courses now. So I might only go through three of them because what I have to do is combine the multiplayer functionality course, which is going to take up a lot, and combine that with the Battle Royale course because that's what I want to make. And then, you know, hopefully I'll know enough to be able to... Well, actually, is there a paper 2D? Uh, um, okay, I'm getting Unity. That's not going to help. Unreal paper 2D. Uh, okay, these are the courses I bought. Um, there's a blueprint class, how to develop your first two. Okay, so I don't see anything here. But I think pa the Unreal's paper 2D is blueprints, Unreal. I think that's part of blueprints, though. Uh, let's see. It's a, and it's a sprite-based thing. Hmm. Yeah, one other thing I've also noticed is, okay, sorry, paper 2D. All right, so, because I know PUBG actually has a mini game called PUBG, and that's actually a 2D uh, mini game in their game. Uh, build 2D games. Let's see. Shit, I might have to find some kind of, uh, you know, I would really prefer to buy a course on this. Because I know the person that I'm buying the course from would actually have an incentive. 
to uh, do something with it. Cause and the reason why I want the two D course is because I want to put an extra I want to put extra game modes in my battle royale. Cause I cause I've been playing Call of Duty Warzone, and I actually like it a lot. I honest, I rage uninstalled it two days ago because I was like, ah, oh, wow, I'm getting killed. I got some kills. I didn't get any rewards. Right, which is important because you need to reward good gameplay, and I felt like that didn't happen. And I reinstalled it last night, and I actually had a lot of fun. But that's also because my my random teammates were actually decent. Never try. Also, I was getting a lot more kills too, so I guess I'm actually getting a little better at the game. And I, all I do is I play some mode called Plunder, which is everyone just respawns and you have a full loadout, and you just have to try to r uh, rob money from players by killing them, or just rob money yourself, and just get to the first team to a a million and then there's overtime and then the team that has the most money you know wins the i would i don't know what do i would call it like casual battle royale because i think that's what the i think that's a very good angle to go is like a casual battle royale because it's no fun to drop in die instantly get nothing and then you're like what the hell it's like why am i wasting my time playing this shitty game now, I'm still trying to remember, what did I want to look up? I, it, it, I need to solve the mystery of what did I want to look up. Um, well, I guess, well, I guess I'm just going to have to forget. But anyway, uh, but yeah. But I think, I think, I think if I can get over the technical hump, then the only thing I have to worry about, actually, Epic on let's let's just look this up in the world. Epic online game services cost. I assume there's a cost with this. <clears throat> uh, all right. Any engine, any store, any platform. Uh, Crossplay. Any integration choice. Mix and match with our services. Okay, so this is good. Problem is, are these still using um are these still using Amazon AWS for buy online services? Like the like Epic Games is just so the Unreal Engine, which is owned by Epic Games, it's just like a million times better than Unity. It literally has everything. I can't believe it. I mean, I'm still I'm still okay and glad that I spent basically an entire year of my life last year learning Unity, but uh, like Sedition is tower defense because I really wanted this to be like a multiplayer game with like other stuff, but I was just so hamstrung by the limitations of Unity that I just you know now it's just a plain old mobile uh mobile game uh tower defense game that doesn't really have much going for it right and i did try to convert it into a mobile app for uh google play and i just keep getting this weird error it's like we can't compile because we're missing the certain dependencies even though i installed it it's just like i can't deal with this i just can't deal with unity it, it just sucks i hate it uh explore services i just want to know how much is this um uh okay cross play what this can't be right there is no catch we built many of these services for fortnite and are now operating in or you know i should actually i should actually start encouraging everyone to play fortnite so epic will make money and keep this going are now operating at enormous economies of scale, and we also rely on these services for the Epic Game Store. Now we are happy to offer these services to game developers for free with the goal of encouraging wider adoption of Epic's offerings. That's actually smart. And of course, and of making cross-play, cross-progression, other open and interconnected online features more accessible to everyone. So if I make a good enough game and get popular enough, I can totally do a deal. Like Epic Games will actually probably approach me. And then I could probably do, and they'll introduce me to Tencent, and then I can like make some sort of deal with Tencent and Epic Games. Ultimately, when developers choose to use Epic account services, Epic and all participating partners benefit by growing cross-platform account based and social graph available at all. This is also important too because Unreal Engine takes five percent of all my revenue once I hit a million dollars and above. So they don't have to actually worry about providing me costs with this. So that's why Tab G is able to build up such a huge 
they're able to afford all the services. Oh man, and the calling was the first game. You know, the calling one didn't screw up. They could have just simply asked Epic Games because that was also made in Unreal. Because and Tab G is also made in Unreal. They could have just simply just gotten free multiplayer servers because at one point they were paying ten thousand dollars. The, the calling was this old. It was one of the first standalone battle royale games. It was actually really fun back in two thousand sixteen. They, um, I, I did research on them yesterday, too. Like, why did the game completely die? The, they said that they were actually paying $10,000 a month at one point for Amazon AWS. So, oh my god, all my game design, my, all, my, all my dreams can come true. I just fucking use this. <laughs> I just use this. And obviously, when I put in the strategy side game, because I wanted to create like a... Because for those of you who have been watching my videos or maybe in the live stream I've talked about this before I originally wanted to make as my second game uh, I think it's called city city building kit I think that's their domain uh, yeah that's actually it I want to go to their actual website though all right I guess I'm just gonna have to go here it's like it's actually three hundred and ninety dollars not two ninety. But if I were still sticking with Unity, this is exactly what I would use. Because some actual games like this are actually used in the Google Play Store and it makes a lot of money. Like Game of War, I think. Uh, where is their site? Where is their site? There it is. CityBuildingKit.com. I mean, I thought that was it, but I just wanted to get the actual site. Right? So this is like a <clears throat> basically like Clash of Clans clone. And then I just put my own little spin on it, right? And that's why I had to go trademark uh, seditionist and all that stuff so I could build out the brand name. So I want to create, so I'll have to create, and, I, and that's why I, I need, I'm interested in Unreal's Paper 2D, because I'm going to create some kind of miniature scaled down version of that. But that all requires ultimately multiplayer and storing your progress, you know, online. What's interesting is I my, I can't put the multiplayer battle royale part in mobile or right because obviously your phone can't handle that. But I could probably put the strategy part, and that I can use to actually kind of not only gain experience and like okay, how do I compile this part into you know mobile, right? I can also start running some ads on it, and then I don't have to worry about the hosting because I can't believe they're actually giving this away for free this is literally very expensive to do I like like I know Amazon is gonna succeed immensely with their new MMO and dominate the video game world but we can't have one company literally committing uh, having a monopoly on everything in our lives so I'm just gonna have to hope and that's also why I'm gonna be siding with China and Tencent because you know I need to side with somebody that's not aligned with Western society because right now they're oppressing everybody so you know like i i actually know a lot of people don't like nick fuentes right at least the i mean the people who don't watch this normally all right okay fine you don't like him but why is he on a fucking no fly list for just saying something conservative that you don't like all right that's a problem all right you know it's basically what mao zedong used to do in china all right <laughs> except actually worse because he would actually well actually he would have the mom's Actually, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Mobs are coming to hunt you down and then beat you up. Uh, all right. What does it do with the account data? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I really don't want... I mean, I, there's no getting around the basic data stuff. Also, they're all... The U.S. government, the CIA is just going to just um, take all the data from Epic Games anyway, so... More from Google. <clears throat> How do I sign up for Epic Games Services? Okay, create an I have my Epic account. Uh, I have to agree to the developer agreement, blah, 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 blah. Can I try to start committing to using that? Yes, of course. Uh, are available to, uh, so you always have a feel and see how well they work for your team, whether they can help achieve. You let me choose to start using these services at any time. Can I use these services for PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch? And they work very closely with them. Alright, this is very good because eventually we do need crossplay. Call, Call of Duty Warzone is actually crossplay, so they, that's why there's so many people playing it. I assume PUBG is the same way too. 
Guitar Hero SDK with a video game that uses any game engine, including Unity. Alright, that's good. And I like how they still will work with their rivals. So, like, keeping an open mind is pretty important. Uh, Epic Online is built, but it's okay for everything. Where do I get to... Wait. Uh, X on iOS and Android. So the only downside to using Unreal is they don't actually have support for web browsers. But I think that should be okay. I think that will be okay. I think I'm willing to give that up. Because, really, all the big money is in consoles and mobile. And, of course, PC. Because that's where we are at. We are... Uh, I can't believe it. This is actually free. What have I been doing with my life? What have I been doing with my life? Oh my god. I can create the game of my dreams. And it'll be multiplayer. Which is the most important part. Because if you don't have a multiplayer game... This game is pretty bland, but if it were multiplayer, and then I created some basic functionality that makes it like, you know, mo in fact, I bet I could actually adapt my Unreal Training and go back and then work on this game if I wanted to, which I don't want to do. I just don't like Unity. I just don't want, I just don't like it. So, I would just create like a second version of this game. Of course, it'll be free, and then, you know, it'll actually have all the things, but I might have to actually play Bloons TDD. Get some inspiration, or even Elements TD. Oh, wow, okay. So anyway, yeah, I know we went right past the uh, economic stuff, but this is important because this is the future, right? All, all human beings are basically going to get replaced, right? You're not going to have anything. You're going to have shitty universal basic income. You, you know, you probably, you probably won't be allowed to eat meat. Uh, and the only thing that only job that you can do is adult entertainment, because I don't want to say the P word. Uh, anything that requires creativity, which is why I'm doing computer programming. And of course, computer programming, and that's pretty much it. Everything else will be completely automated, outsourced, and done by robots. Or, you know, cheap immigra uh, immigrant labor. Or you'll just, sim or just simply, just, yeah, technology, right? Because it's, it's just going insane. It's going insane. All right, so it's 11.18, I need exercise, I probably need to do stuff, and then Star Trek Online series will come back up. So, all right, busy, busy, busy. But this is so good. I can't believe this. I'm still actually blown away by this. They literally, this is a, such an expensive service that they provide, free multiplayer hosting, like actual free multiplayer hosting. For free, I just, uh, I'm just taken aback by it. Like, wow. I hope someday that I'll become as awesome as Epic Games. And I can do something just as cool like this, too, for, for like, the people. Right? Just like Epic Games is doing for me now. This is... See, this is another reason why I get annoyed, too. Because you're told that Chinese people, China, bad, bad, bad. And this is, like, the cool shit that they do for you. And you, you just never find out about it unless you actually do the research. You know, meanwhile, the American government is doing all this shit. Right? <sighs> but you know, you know, we'll, we'll uh, you know, we'll we'll endure. So yeah. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, all right. I made this thing long enough. I don't have chat open because usually uh, I just do a live stream because maybe I don't know whatever. Uh, this is really meant to make the video. So. Uh, all right. So I will see you all either after the markets close at 4:30 p.m. Eastern or next week if you're just watching the video and um with that being said i don't know why the markets are fearful um i don't know they're you no know, that's what they always do but it looks like may is going to be another shitty month right uh but it should come back up unless we find out what it is that the market's afraid of and it's actually a really big bad thing then we have to go through with that uh, but again, Ethereum, the rich are parking their money in Ethereum, they're parking their money in Dogcoin, and like, Litecoin, and a couple other coins. So there's clearly something going on. I don't know, maybe the Biden tax cuts, or tax hikes? Maybe? I don't know, I don't know. But, yeah, it's annoying, but, you know, what are you gonna do? And then, of course, the dollar just going straight up, so that's put, that's actually what's causing all, everything else to go down, because the dollar... If your dollar can buy more stuff, then the stuff has to go down in value because it has to reflect that a stronger dollar can buy more. All right. Just think of it this way: the price of the, the price of a loaf of bread is a dollar, and the dollar gets stronger. Well, that same dollar can now buy two loaves of bread. So, what's the actual cost of that bread? Fifty cents. 
that's why everything's basically going down because the dollars are going up so that's how you have to start thinking but yeah anyway i'll see you soon uh or next week depending on how you want to watch and uh wow i'm uh, i'm really stoked epic is offering free multiplayer wow